Hello again, my YouTube family and friends. And I I know I said I was going to wait until the 18th to make any videos. But apparently when you tell people like Amazon to put a move on it, they really put a move on it. So, with that in mind, I have another unboxing video. This one is going to be a new one for me, but it's not new. Because it's been out for a little while. But it is a 2018 phone that I was not aware of. So, I was trying for a Xiaomi device. That's what I got. I got a 2018 Xiaomi Y5. So, here's the package. There's the nice little thing that says about the batteries. Gotta love that. It's awesome. Not really. But, whatever. And this time, instead of using my big pig sticker, I'm going to use my little pig sticker. It's awesome. And, it's very sharp. At least I think it is. So, on with the show. Now, this one right here cost about $130. Still, it is a budget device. And still, people like you and me can afford it. So, First thing we do is open the box. And look, little air pillows. Air Plus. I love popping these things. Really, just when they don't have a leak. Awesome. Put that aside. Now my already ringing ears is ringing more. And now for the device, at least the box. And as you can see, clearly, hopefully clearly, although I'm not using my regular phone for this, Xiaomi, it's Y5, it says 2018. And let's see. It's got some pretty nice specifications, but it doesn't say it all on the box. So, take our little pig sticker and continue to remove the seals. There will be another video following this one, but it's probably going to take me about a week to make the other video. And I'll prob I'll more than likely have the other phone. Hopefully, the other phone will redeem Wish. Because it was about the same price as this phone. Which makes it another budget phone. That one has a different screen. All together. But, as we pull the package out. I'm going to put that aside. And there's the phone. And that goes aside for now. And the first thing you notice, there's the SIM removal tool. And it's pretty cool. And what do we got inside? We have a quick start guide. I can go there and we have don't quite know what this is a certificate of some sort so it's in another language so hey eh. here we have a um, micro USB Charging cable. Pretty nice. 
we have it's a charging brick I don't think it's a fast charging brick but this phone doesn't require it that so I will worry about getting that out later or wait a minute nice zip Just like that, cat's out of the bag, or in this case, the charger's out of the bag. Now I'll throw that away. What else do we have in here? Oh look, it is a headset. Well, at least it does serve a purpose. Because it's just standard and it's not quite in ear, but yet it is basically in ear, just not the kind I normally go for. So that covers everything in the package. Now, on to the whole point of this video the phone. So here we have three IMEI numbers. Well, they're all the same. So put it on the phone or not. And now we got the phone. Why Huawei? Why five? 2018. It's got the 5.45 inch. Full view screen. Uh, let's see, a 3,020 milliamp hour battery. <clears throat> it's got a front facing flash. No way. For selfies. Of course, most of the writing in front is not in English. But I can read Huawei. I could definitely read Y5 2018. So, take this off. And how about that? That's the cover. And now the back. Love that feeling. So, on this side, we have the SIM card, uh, SIM card tray. There's a little ejector spot where the injector uh, pin goes in. On the top, we have headphone jack. The three. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They're awesome. Especially when you have so many sets of headphones that it ain't funny. All of them of good quality. Over here, we have the volume up and down rocker and the power button. And on the bottom, we have microphone and the charging port, which is also micro USB, not type C. But you can't expect type C on a budget phone. Doesn't matter. It's all just as good. You plug it into a, super, a fast charging uh, power brick, charging brick, and it will charge fast, no matter what. Even if it's not meant for it. And on the back here, we have eight megapixel eight, eight camera. That's I'm dry. It's all good. And the flash. Of course, I don't really see a flash on the front. I just see a 5 megapixel camera. And of course, right here is Huawei's emblem. So let's see if it powers on. Just 
just like that. Huawei, powered by Android. Now, this is going to be an Android 8.0 uh, cell phone, and it's actually a very nice idea. Of course, it has a quad-core processor. Love the sound. Has one gigabyte of system memory, 16 gigabytes of system internal storage, and of course, it's already in different language. So let's change this over to English. And why is it not going English? United States. Now it is in English. It's awesome. So we've got most of almost a completely full battery. And of course I don't have the SIM in there yet. But as you can see. It's a very nice phone. It's heavy build quality. Nice solid instruction. And looks like sturdy material. Of course, it is 720p display. But that, again, because it's a budget phone. Now, a lot of people want the newer phones. This right here does the job. That's it for this video. I will make another video on that phone in about a week. That way I have a week, one week, to get used to the phone so I can tell you more about it. And tell you whether it's actually worth buying or not. But in my opinion, because of its specifications closely matching the phone that I'm recording on, I'm going to say... Yes, it's much better. It's much better than the other one, the Real Life Onion. That's already a better phone. So, with that in mind, next video will be the full review. And you have a wonderful night, my Facebook friends. See you in either a week. Or when the other phone arrives, the makeup for Wish. Hopefully, it'll redeem them. And have a wonderful night.